Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. Is the critical care pain observation tool the best nonverbal pain scale to use in the ICU? The CPOT, or Critical Care Pain Observation Tool, examines four domains, giving 0 to 2 points on each domain for a range and score of 0 to 8. The four domains are facial expression, body movements, compliance with the ventilator, or vocalization if extubated, and muscle tension. A score of 2 or more on the CPOT indicates the presence of significant pain. The CPOT is the only nonverbal pain scale that has been validated for use in patients with ICU delirium. Also, the CPOT swaps out the compliance with the ventilator domain for the vocalization domain if the patient is extubated. This gives the CPOT a high degree of flexibility in that it can be used whether the patient is intubated, extubated, or delirious. Remember, with any nonverbal pain scale, no data has ever shown that a higher score correlates with the need for a higher dose of analgesic. I use a fixed analgesic dose rather than a range based on how high the score gets. For links to a validation article for the CPOT and a detailed comparison of the available nonverbal pain assessment tools, go to PharmacyJoe.com CPOT. That's C-P-O-T.